Well, good morning, guys. We are on the road again. We are in a place called Roanoke Rapids, which is just crossed the Virginia uh, state line into North Carolina. We are headed to the shore. We're going to the water. Uh, can't remember right now what the name of the campground is. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, we like to stay Cracker Barrel at night and that's what we did it was a little noisy as you can hear in the background interstate is right behind us and uh well, city street pretty close but this is probably the closest i have ever parked near a cracker barrel sign i'm going to raise it there is a cracker barrel sign literally right we're right underneath it real good uh good place to park easy to get in and out of but like I said a little noisy but uh, yeah we're right right under the sign makes for a good uh, good video good photograph so guys we'll uh, we'll be getting back to you we're on the road making content hey y'all take care It would probably be a good idea to show you the Cracker Barrel itself. There it is. Eh, they all kind of look the same. And uh, anyway, that's where we ate this morning. We got here too late uh, last night to eat dinner with them. But we always like to, if we stay here, we always like to eat and uh, pay our dues, so to speak, for having them be nice enough to let us park camp so we are on the road we are headed to holden beach north carolina is the name of the campgrounds i found that out from the director of activities commonly known as irene so y'all take care cute little check-in office thing it's in a, an old Winnebago <laughs> I think they were Winnebago Braves we're finally here Holden Beach RV campgrounds and we are in where Holden Beach, Holden Beach. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to trick me yeah that that was not a trick question <laughs> we got terribly terribly lost I'm gonna turn the phone around or the camera around. <sighs> we got terribly, terribly lost. Should have been here an hour or so ago. And we ended up right down on the beach with no place to turn around and I'm pulling a car. I tried to back up the tow dolly. Nah, ended up taking the walk of shame. I uh, had to take the car off the tow dolly turn everything around, get it heading the right direction, and reload. And we're now here, and the guy's gonna take us to our site. So, hey guys, we'll let you know more about the campgrounds when we get settled in. Right there? Later. Later. <laughs> yeah, Paul's there for a second, making sure I had the microphone in the right place let me swing it around here and look at some of these sites don't seem to be a whole lot of people here i can see why it's winter time it is chilly let me put this down and drive
Morning, guys. We are here. Where are we, honey? Holden Beach. Holden Beach Campgrounds in Holden Beach, North Carolina. Had an interesting trip down here, which we will explain later. Has a lot to do with a trash truck and a power pole or pole that he took out and spilled his contents all over the road which we had to drive through so now we have the best smelling rv they had put kitty litter down and it was a slurry of juices out of the tow out of the tow dolly yeah out of the uh trash truck got all over the tow dolly which went all over the car it's all up under all of the wheel wells this thing stinks so my neighbor over here, Todd, he uh, gave me a nozzle. I'm going to wash the thing up some, hopefully. Probably just make the smell worse. But we're all set up, and we're going to walk over to the camp store. Right, dear? Yes, we are. All right. Okay. I think. <laughs> we shall find it. And it's been really quiet until... Our neighbor pulled in a little while ago. Nice fella. We might do an interview on him later. But uh, he got a nice rig. I love his truck. Love the color of it. Runs a landscaping company. Does a lot of heavy, heavy earth moving. He paves new paths. Yeah. No. 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 That's a. <laughs> that's an RV ch or. Uh, YouTube channel that we watch, Paving New Paths. Y'all gotta check them out, they're good people. And now we gotta find out where the camp store is. I don't know, we're gonna just walk around and mumble. And then maybe somebody will help you. We could have asked. We could have asked. Neighbor. I bet he knows. <laughs> Ooh, and it's chilly here in Carolina. Where are we? Wilkesboro is close? What's the name of it? No. Uh, Wilmington. We're Wil close to Wilmington. Close to Wilmington. Oh, where the hell I got I Wilkesboro? Halfway, That's in Tennessee. Halfway between Wilmington and Myrtle Beach. Okay. That's some nice sights. They're kind of close, but that's what you get. It's a private campground. And especially at the beach. Yeah. We tend to be very close. Well, I don't see the store. I see where the pool is. It's on the other side of those trees. It's supposed to be a catch and release pond. I want to find that. All right. Well, we're lost. Make a ride around. Yeah. Well, we'll walk back the way we came. Find where the store is. Could ask somebody. Ask that fellow over there. I don't know. He doesn't look like he needs to be worried. <laughs> didn't well, look like he was in the mood. Nah, he didn't look like he was in the mood for somebody talking to a camera that's a cute little camper yeah i like those little retro campers <laughs> seem like be real easy to pull that would be something your sister would yeah easily pull i understand they're not real cheap well i'm gonna shut this thing down right here and then we'll find out where the store is y'all stay tuned the mystery continues Hey, we found the store. Went back, got our map of the campgrounds, found the store. Uh, we took a, you'll see a video of the inside. But uh, yeah, got about everything you'd need. And this campground also, we're about two miles from the beach. This uh, 
campground has their own little shuttle bus that you meet up here at certain times and it'll take you down to the beach down to all the shops and restaurants and all down there and then uh, you meet up get a ride back it runs i think all day we're kind of in the end of the season right now so there's not uh, they said make sure that you talk to somebody and uh, set up the time and all because they're not uh, not that busy right now but we're going to drive down oh let's see if i can can i do this yeah i can that's where we are you don't mind but we, i don't want to be in any video but... no problem i always ask yeah we have a youtube channel we just yeah but other than that no for the campground and the store as long as i'm not in it yeah as long as you're not yeah i understand I always check. There's times I wish I wasn't in. <laughs> Those are crop tops. Sweatshirts. Oh, okay. oh, oh honey, we gotta get you oh, one. Yeah. I, I, just so I don't even know why the, the lady that ordered them is no longer here. It's like, why did you order those? <laughs> But are they long Man, this reminds me of a Blockbusters. This is cool. Oh, Lord. My God. Wonder where they got all of these. I have to find out. The lady said she didn't want to be on camera. Hey, I don't blame her. Yeah. Got to respect people's privacy. That's number one. So the lady should have taken the crop tops with her when she left, right? Is that what you're... <laughs> Say, honey, let's see. We'll she make... did, because there was some Carolina blue ones and those blush pink ones. So she took all the Carolina blue ones. <laughs> I think her and her daughter, you know, wear them, but... I would ask how old she was, but... Uh... She was in her late 40s. Old enough to know better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But hopefully, could still pull it off. Oh, she could, but <laughs> didn't make it right. Talking about crop top t shirts. Yeah. That might be all right down Florida at spring break, but this is a family campgrounds, so I think. Even to us, we leave and come to the beach because we're going to go into the mountains and mm -hmm. this year we come to the beach and Oh, yeah. They got all your normal stuff. It does get cold here. I know it's funny when you're a kid and you know the only time you go to the beach is you know when it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just grow up thinking the beach is always warm. <laughs> yeah. We went to a family wedding in Portland, near Portland. Well, it's enough. Let's uh, mm -hmm. let's end it here. Well. We went out walking and they've got a little fishing pond. Now, it's kind of interesting. There's a dam or something that goes across through the middle of it. And it's supposed to be catch and release, but I don't know if there's anything in there. Nobody to ask. I hate to bring a fishing rod down and look kind of stupid and have it be a pond with no fish anyway we're gonna walk i haven't seen anyone fishing in it no i haven't either what do they call it the pollywog pond po pollywog oh. yeah that's a manly name for a lake the pollywog i guess that's a little frog or something yeah Yeah, okay. We'll uh, kind of walk around toward the bathrooms. I haven't uh, haven't done my my due diligence and show everybody what the bathrooms look like. Yeah, let's walk up and see one of the bathrooms here. I'd 
just saw some folks go in the other one. All right, and this is the bathroom. That's also a shower. Uses the rain nozzle. Kind of cascades down on you. Yeah, they're all right, but they're kind of hard to get to to get your little bits and things washed up. But yeah, nice and clean. Smells good. Well, let me get out of here. People wonder why I'm just standing here talking in the bathroom. We were out riding around and found a walk around to the pool, but they've got, I guess this is pickleball. Seems to be the thing lately. Yep. Pickleball court. Yeah. While we were out walking around, we ran into a gentleman that lives there and uh, also works there. And he was he was a wealth of knowledge about the uh, campgrounds. I'm really fascinated with these showers that are uh, use surfboards as the uh, backstop or the mount for the shower nozzles. You use them to take a shower before you get in the pool and also when you get out. But uh, this pool is not very old. Uh, just been redone. A uh, company out of Tennessee had bought the campgrounds and made a lot of renovations, one of which was the pool and the pickleball court. I uh, noticed the uh, pool also has a seat that can rise and lower you into the pool if you're handicapped. That's really cool. Uh, wish it was warm enough and, and the right season we would have used the pool, but everything was closed for the season. Well, a fella told me about some tents that they have down here. <clears throat> kind of like the yurts that are at some campgrounds. But uh, these are tents that uh, are up on platforms. I think they have different uh, uh, motifs or decorated different. Uh, I think he was telling me there's a Polynesian one and all. But uh, it's kind of cute. I'm going to swing a camera around here and uh, we'll take a look at them. The, uh, it's really something interesting. Let's do this. All right. Let's go take a walk. Don't know what uh, what this one's supposed to be. Just looks like a really cool campsite. I don't know what uh, theme they're going for. I don't know. It must be Americana or something. They've got a that's a milk container, milk jug. I'm not gonna go in them, but uh, I got a cooler sitting here on the back up here and Adirondack chairs let's see if I can open one of these and stick my head in well geez that ain't gonna happen ah heck why not let's open it up well geez it's zipped guys I'm not going in there All right, my persistence paid off, plus curiosity to, hey, the man said I could come on in and take a look. This is really cute. It's done like a, kind of a harvest home kind of thing. Got a little guest book to sign. Now this would be cool. Don't know how that would be during the, during the winter, but, uh, yeah, now they have a little little buddy heater, and he said uh, they also have air conditioning if you need it. This is even set up for a wood stove at some point, but they didn't do it. Yeah, I'm glad I was curious enough to come in. This is really nice. I don't know what the bed feels like. Let's see. I'm nosy. 
Eh. Kind of a institutional kind of mattress. Feels like a real hard foam. Anyway, that's what one of them looks like. We'll walk down and see what the others look like. Hang on. Well, let's see what uh, motif they used on this one. The first one was uh, Americana. A lot of, a lot of plants and has another cooler. Now to get this one open. Nope. Uh, let's see if I can get the zipper to work here. No, I'm not quite sure what the motif is, but really cool. Indian, like, you know, India, Indian, um, not sure. Anyway, let me back out of the way. Yeah, cute little thing here. Kind of like a little cornerstone. Or a center stone or something. Ah. That looks nice. This curl up. Well, I think the next one is Polynesian. Because it's got like a grass roof on it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to cut this off until I get down there. Now, let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah. Got the uh, like a grass hut theme. Yeah, solar panels. Oh, it's really pretty. Another cooler. Now well, we can shoot through the fence here, or through the screen. That's wild. The bed's actually suspended on ropes. And they got a little power supply down there. Must be feeding off of the, must be charged by those solar panels. And I guess people, I'll move it in a little closer. Uh, it must be air conditioning. I think you'd want heat. <laughs> it is still chilly here. Well, guys, these are pretty cool. Love what they did on the ceiling. Yeah. All right. I think that's enough. got this is where we got screwed up the other day right here on this spot I realized that I was on a dead-end road and there was no way I was going to turn around the motorhome with this thing behind it 
So we uh, unhitched and I spun everything around and hooked back up. And man, were we a long ways from our campgrounds. <laughs> How far are you there, honey? Oh, we were good. Four or five miles probably. Yeah, at least. That's a lot you were talking about. Yeah. Let's go see if we can get in here. I see somebody with backup lights on. Let's see a couple spaces. I don't think they got backup lights on. I think it's the sun shining on oh, the must be. reflectors there. Well, we go park here. Yeah, there's a... I mean, there's the way up. Cool. So we found this place by accident, and now we're going to use it. It's quiet, peaceful, and we got to pay to park. But I think we found ourselves our new. Let me turn the camera around. I think we have found ourselves our new beach. We used to go to Nags Head, Myrtle Beach all the time. Holden Beach is laid back, not as commercial and uh just seems to be a, a lower slower way of life what do you think seems to be a lot quieter more family -oriented. and clean yes very clean yeah so we'll see in the video we'll do we did a little b-roll action and show you the uh, beach houses and things but uh yeah i like it here so we're between nags head myrtle beach so if you wanted to go to those places for some reason, stay here and drive there. It's only like 30 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Nags has a little bit. Nags has a little bit. Anyway, guys, that's enough. We're at the beach. And there goes Irene heading to the, heading to the water. She loves the beach. And we found out it's okay to bring George down. So we'll come back tomorrow and bring him. See how he likes it. All right, I'm gonna walk down. Join her. Oh yeah. We're at the beach. Interesting to see how the waves come in in different patterns. Different depths of uh, the sandbar. That's a, yep. I like that roof on that house right there. Way it cuts down. <laughs> and look, honey, right on the very end, there's a yellow one. Oh, yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, there is a sandbar out there. You can go out, get even closer to the water. Definitely. Waves crashing waves. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea where I'm filming because I am staring into the sun looking at a black screen <laughs> on the camera. What do you think, honey? Even with sunglasses, it doesn't help. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Hi, guys. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah. She said, she said hi. If we're in the screen, even if we're not, hi. Yeah. I'm going to turn this around. If I can find a button. Now, hopefully, we're taking a picture or a video of the water. And this beach is sparsely populated. 
I said, I have no idea what I'm filming. But it's man. really wide. Yeah, that's a really wide beach. Crazy thing is that we got a cool breeze blowing from our backs, on our backs. And the front of us is being burnt pretty good by the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Oh. You had a strange sun. Yeah, really. It's really funny. The cool is enough to kind of counteract the the sun. Anyway, I'll see if this works. Who knows? Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. We really had a great time at Holden Beach, and it is one of our going to be one of our favorite places to return. Uh, but. We have to leave and head on up the road. We are now headed to Wilmington, North Carolina. And there was a lot to see there and a lot to do. So stay with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for a notification for the next video. Thanks.